Okay, what we have here is a Sonoff Wi-Fi switch. This is one of the earlier versions. We're going to use this just for demonstration purposes, right? This is going to represent, the light's going to represent our load. The switch is going to represent our relay contact, contact to contact, or it could be a contact that's built in on the inverter itself, right? So, and this is oh, this is the Sonoff Mini, which just has the input over there. And yeah, this is the dry contact here. It goes into the input. That's just power. So what it is, so you've got your inverter installed and it's not necessarily overloaded as such, but you might have a load, which is this here, that's on the same circuit as the circuit you got backed up with. It's your, your router or TV or important process that you want to keep running when it's load shedding. But unfortunately, the wiring in your house, your office, whatever, it's, it's on the same circuit and to split it means you have to draw in a new circuit but that, that that's a project on its own so so this might be a solution for that right um this module you can get it in a in a in a smart plug version that comes in the new rsa version shape or the suco i think but it's obviously different manufacturers and it's also made by sonoff but i think you don't necessarily have to use it because you can use any thing similar and run it through whatever App you're using Google Home or or whatever, whatever, yeah. Because yeah, once you got this set up in in the EV Link app, this is Sonoff, this EV Link app, and then you're good to go, right? So say it's load shedding, boom, yeah. switch opens up, load drops out. So everything is on, everything is running off the inverter, but it cuts out your your heavy appliance or your heavy load. So it's not your load is not drawing off the battery because it's, it's load shedding now. So the inverter is in backup mode, island mode, whatever. So you don't draw off the battery and that will extend your battery life or your runtime of your battery. Right. So when load shedding finishes, mains comes back on. Mains makes the relay. Relay contact makes this module, sends a signal to this. Load is available again for use. So there's no physical wiring between this. This is all on Wi-Fi. So what you'd need is obviously number one your router is on on the on the inverter your wi-fi router is on the inverter already it's backed up so it's always on and then you need the ewe link app and then just set up the scenes obviously load this onto the app give it a name or whatever set up a scene and then you're good to go